to my daughter. I think it's no good really talking about the experience I've had in the Philippines. You've got to come here yourself. And it really puts our context of the way we live our lives in UK firmly in place. Things we take for granted in the Philippines most people do not enjoy. And if they do enjoy them, they would be regarded as a luxury. He is here as a volunteer for 10 days. Well, one of the things that amazed me is how he actually just easily slid into the role of a volunteer. So like, you know, he walked the distance. I mean, we've, we, we, before we came to this place, we, we walked for, you know, it was quite a long and difficult trek. It's so untypical of uh, politicians that I know who would, you know, demand like a chopper to get them to a, to a place like this. In the UK, nurses would say they were overworked and underpaid. In the Philippines, I absolutely accept totally that nurses are underpaid and overworked. And uh, I very much hope that given the economic difficulties that not only my country is in, but the Philippines, the rest of the world, I do hope that uh, Filipino nurses will be given a due remuneration for the wonderful sacrifices which they make to look after. It was also um, perfect because David Amos has done extensive lobbying and advocacy around uh, the health service. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a great honor for me to be with you this evening, as you clearly are angels from heaven. Because uh, he is a very, very strong um, champion, or he is a strong advocate of um, health services in the UK. And um, he, he, is, he also has great admiration for the Filipino nurses. So we thought that, you know, all the pieces fell in place. Now, I don't want this video that is being taken of me uh, shown widely in the United Kingdom for one reason. Because I happen to think you are the finest nurses in the world. Uh, you work hard, you're dedicated, you're skillful, uh, you are a prof professionals to the core. So it isn't any wonder to me that you're uh, wanted everywhere. So my dear daughter, when you moan that you haven't got enough money to buy petrol for your car, these people don't use cars, they walk for miles and miles just to get here where we are in this village. So, I mean, for, for instance, say she's not going to have twins, but just say that she was expecting twins. Who would help? The emergency response for people here is for other men to carry the patient by hammock. Because... Oh, are... sorry, this is what you were talking about. Yes. They, they would carry them by hammock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That is what they call ayod. Remember? Oh, yes. So we did it in a way that we will not make so much rules. So this area will be a multi-purpose, where the nutrition scholar can come to have a meeting. The, barang, the nutrition scholars are those working for nutrition groups. So you're the nurse? Yeah, at the time. In, in the UK, we, some people, think they're hard up compared to the majority of people in Philippines. Many of them would never, never have walked here. They, they would have started moaning straight away. And as far as treatment of Filipino nurses in the United Kingdom is concerned, we've already had a very constructive meeting with the British Embassy, which I hope to uh, continue the dialogue with when I return back to the UK and share with my parliamentary colleagues. He cannot resolve or address totally the problem of the nursing sector. What he can only offer is an assistance. So if here is somebody who is not a nurse assisting us, and he is saying that the essential component of change is organizing, by all means, fellow nurses, wake up. I think this is but time for us to um, unite and uh, be uh, heard as one strong voice in our country. If we want change, the, start, the change should start from ourselves. It will not start from anybody else. It will start from the nursing sector. And I do believe David Amos will make that push 
it is not only a push but an inspiration for us. To my daughter, I hope you're well. I'm certainly enjoying my time with the Filipino Nurses Association. Voluntary service overseas is something that I would recommend for you. The Philippines is a great country whose finest resource is its people. They are quite poor but are grateful and not bitter about their circumstances. It puts your whole life into perspective, makes you really appreciate what we have already. I can't save the world, but I think in terms of the little impact I could make in the Philippines, hopefully some people will benefit from it. Missing you lots of blood, Dad. Sarah.